Johnny, you're straggling. Come on. Right behind you, Pa. I'm going on ahead. You follow. Keep your head down. Yes, sir. Good job, boy. You know the drill. You wait till I'm back. Thought I was ready this time. Next time, I bet. I said the same thing last time. Why can't I come with you? Just give me a gun. A gun, huh? I want to see you hit that tree from 15 paces. When you pull that off, you're ready for a gun. See you later, Johnny. Boys, take everything that shines and anything what could drink a man's life. Come on, let's show them who's boss. Yeah, take up. Come this way, let's flank him. He saw us! Wonder what's in here. <laughs> Something tells me you ain't here punching tickets. Huh. Seems like we made an unplanned stop. I'd better go find out what's holding us up. I'd say you owe me one. Hey, now. 
Are you kidding me? I'd say we're even now. Now I suggest you return to your wagon. I'll handle things from here. Well, like you handled those two? Listen, Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, I've been hired to make sure this train gets to Flagstone. I'd appreciate it if you don't get in my way. Well, now, Mr. McCoy. Dr. McCoy. Right, Dr. McCoy. The way I see it, there's only one way forward, and I gotta get to Flagstone, too. Suit yourself, but don't say I didn't warn you. So, looks like the bandits blocked the tunnel. Why do you think the train stopped? It's gonna take some work to clear those rocks. Good thing they have a stash of dynamite up on that plateau. Yeah, grab it and clear the tunnel. <laughs> Not such a bad plan. I don't do bad plans. Fair enough. Let's get to it then. Sure thing. All right, let's deal with the rest of them. My thoughts exactly. Guess you made the DeVitt company happy today. How much do you get for a job like this? Hope you're not expecting a cut. Relax. I got what I need. You're changing rides? <laughs> Gotta make good on time. Like I said, I got an appointment I'd like to keep. Suit yourself. It wasn't half bad working with you, McCoy. Sure. If you need a professional, you know who to send for. Good day, Mr. Cooper. They tore down old William's house the other day. Now, why do they have to do that? Can't they lay their tracks between our homes? Aw, oh, stick to the game, will you? I'm just saying. If they ever come to my house, I'll show these railroad thugs who's boss. Oh, shit. Well, what can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, we'll get to you in a minute. You know the drill. Everybody out. Y y yes, sir. <laughs> Look at them run. Something in your ears. Just finishing my drink. Listen, asshole. We own this town now. So when he says out... We don't like troublemakers right here. <laughs> Who do we have here? Well, you got double trouble now. What the hell? You again? <gasps> <laughs> They're running away like dogs. I can't blame them. Poor guys had to look at your ugly mug. Aw, oh, you're welcome. You need a drink. So do I. Hector, yours is on the house. Gracias, senorita. They come back, you just call me. You really shouldn't. We'll kill you next time. <laughs> they can try. I guess you've been here a while. Spent your time pissing off the wrong people, huh? I'm the one they pissed off. But as you're here, maybe we can work together. Oh, no, you are not dragging me into this. I'm here for Frank. Surround the place! Don't let them get away! Amigo, you're already in it. And besides, you owe me one. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, out the back.
They're here somewhere. And we got all the time in the world. Well, these guys are out for blood. Who the hell are they? Uh, part of the DeWitt company. I have scores to settle with a few of them. <laughs> all right, fine. But I hope you've got a plan. Uh, sure. Let's head for the street. Nobody will bother us if we stay among the townsfolk, so we got room to breathe. Mm, so far, so good. But, um, whose heads are we bashing in? First, we got Jarvis here. Real tough guy. Right now, he's in that backyard trying to ride the town bull. Next is Wild Marge. She's on the first floor of the Flagstone Brothel, drinking whiskey and watching the girls dance. Then there's the Duke. He's making rounds with his bootlickers up and down Church Street. And last is the foreman, McBain. He's a real asshole. Had his men tear down half the town so that he doesn't have to plan around it. So we get rid of them, head back to the saloon, and finish our drinks. That ain't much of a plan, Hector. Why do you think I've waited for you? All right, let's get it over with. Then I'm on the tower down. A poor table. Gentlemen. I saved your whiskey for you. Gracias, senorita. Uh, don't worry about those men anymore. We took care of them. Oh, that's kind of you, Hector. We sure could use a little more quiet around here. Well, fellas, I have to step out. Would you mind keeping an eye on the place? Leave it to us. Help yourselves. I'll be back in a few. So, how long you been here? A couple of days. Why are you asking? Did you find him? You know where he is? You have to bring this up now? What the hell, Hector? Just saying, we just had a good time, so why ruin it, huh? Look, I'm not here to play the Good Samaritan. We both know he's working for DeVitt, so just tell me where he is. Easy, amigo. Last I heard, he's at the mayor's house. It's just a short ride up the mountain. No reason to waste any more time, then. You sure this is a good idea? It's getting late. I put this off long enough. What difference is one more day? Where I know Frank, he'll still be there tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow, then. That's right, amigo. Now, tell me what you've been up to. Everyone hold still, please. Magnificent. And another. I think this side is much more stable. I'll fetch another plate. Right. <sighs> How do you like the new dress, sweet pea? <gasps> it's a lovely, <laughs> darling. Oh, excellent. I want everyone talking about this day for years. Mayor Higgins. Oh, what now? Frank says he's getting impatient. Shh, not now. Can't you see we're in the middle of something? I'm sorry, sweet pea. This is something I really have to take care of. Don't you worry about me, darling. Oh, okay, stay right here. I I'll be back in a jiffy. I need more time. Try to distract Frank. I really need to check the flower arrangements. Yes, sir. <sighs> Bye for now. Finally, I thought he'd never leave. Need to work fast, get what I need, and leave before I get dragged to the altar. First, I need a key to the upper floor. I think she carries a spare. Bet she won't mind if I borrow it for a spell. The guards won't bother me so long as I don't misbehave too much. As soon as I get it, I'll sneak in through the library door. The upper floor is off limits. I'll have to avoid the guards until I reach the office. I'll turn the place upside down until I find what I'm here for. All right, then. I need to get out of here before the groom decides to check in on his bride. 
I must be here somewhere. Frank, I see you found my office. You should keep your friends waiting, Hagen. Eh, well, sorry about that. The wedding, you understand. Of course. Eh, there's the food, the decorations, the blast. Let's get this done. I got a train to catch. Of course. Just give me a moment. Did I hear correctly? There was trouble in Flagstone yesterday. The usual. I can imagine Mr. DeVitt isn't too happy about that. DeVitt isn't here. I wonder if he'd want you to leave things unfinished here. Or is there something more important in New Orleans? <laughs> Maybe you should just get back to your wedding, Higgins. Maybe you're right. You wouldn't want the bride to get nervous. Well, she has every reason to be. Pardon? I don't think she'll be happy when she finds out you sold off her family ranch. Well, she doesn't have to find out until after the wedding, right? <laughs> you know... I don't think it will make much difference in the end. Enjoy your wedding, Higgins. Hey, wait a second. I need a drink. to do this alone? This ain't a discussion. So, what's your plan? Get in, find Frank, do what I came for. Mm -hmm. March through the front gate. There's a path down those cliffs. I'll just follow that and climb up those vines. From there, I'll wing it. That's no plan, amigo. I've pulled off flimsier once. If I think something's up, I'll come and get you. No, you stay put. This is my fight. <sighs> Whatever you say, amigo. It's done. Nothing I can do now. Call him back. Kate, please. We have a wedding ahead of us. Now calm down, will you? Time's wasting. You really still think I was going to marry you? Enjoy your wedding. Uh, uh, not so fast! You have no idea how much I've invested in this. You will marry me today. You're going to play the good little wife. And I bet you'll forget all about your old life after you pop out a few children. <coughs> Tempting. But I must decline. What the hell are you doing, Kate? Just trying to be convincing. Oh. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna show you your place in this world, you stupid... I think I know my place. I reckon he deserved that. Who the hell are you? I could ask you the same. I don't have time. Step aside. <laughs> really? To the office! Move it! You sure you want to go this way? Shit. What the shit? Open the fucking door! I'll take this. Case closed. 
Okay, what now? The balcony door? Works for me. What are you doing? He doesn't need that money anymore. Money, huh? Heads down. Right. Close call. They're gonna search everywhere now. I have to warn my uncle. Let's get out of here. Well, tell me something first. You ever heard of a guy called Frank? Yeah. Let's discuss it on the way, if you don't mind. No chance we'll get through there. Not without some serious firepower. You know how to pull the trigger of a Gatling gun? I sure do. But, um, why does it have a pink ribbon? It's a wedding present. Don't ask. Anyway, I don't think I'll get very far in this bloody dress. Let's visit that maid up on the stage. I can steal her clothes and use them to blend in. Sure. Though, I don't see a gal like you blending in anywhere, Miss, uh... O'Hara. Kate O'Hara. I'll take that as a compliment, Mr... Uh, Cooper. John Cooper. Hey, so, sorry. I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. So you must be Mr. Cooper's friend. Ah, yeah. And you are. Kate O'Hara. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Hey, Hector. So, uh, how was the wedding? Stop trying to impress a lady. We're heading out. Listen, I got someone that could help us. Damn good marksman. Thing is, he doesn't work for free. I'm sure Higgins has no objection to this investment. All right, Hector, you go with Ms. O'Hara. I think we have until sundown before the DeVitt men come for the ranch. I'll see you there. You got it, amigo. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. No, no need to thank me. We have a deal, don't we? This Frank must be a hell of a guy if you risk your life like this to find him. Wouldn't be the first time. Well, you better hurry. We'll be ready for you at the ranch. Let's hope so. So, why are we defending a ranch now? Well, it's a long story. I'll explain on the way. Sure. Stop hitting your damn thumb. Sorry, Mr. O'Hara. Uh, we're as ready as we're gonna be. Tell the others to head home. Got it. Good luck, sir. Hector, is that the last of the tar oil? Sure is. We poured the others out like you asked. We're gonna put some fire under their asses. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Oh, reinforcements have arrived. Glad you two could make it to our little barbecue. Who's the scarecrow, amigo? The name's McCoy, amigo. McCoy? Hmm. Never imagined I'd fight side by side with a Scotsman. No offense. None taken. Listen, we saw riders coming down the mountain pass. All right then, let's get to it. Two of you are gonna stay out here and pick off the bastards one by one. I got a good bottle of whiskey for the one who kills the most. Neil? Whiskey, huh? You're on. I'm gonna hide down at the boathouse. Good man. <laughs> good man. What about you, Mr. McCoy? You think you can do better than Mr. Hector? Like I'm gonna lose to a Neanderthal like that. Keep that whiskey ready. <laughs> You never told me your friend had the charm of a rattlesnake. Uh, don't worry about him. I'd say we better head inside, too, before they fall in. All righty. Let's show those bastards who's the boss on this ranch. Uncle Ian? What's wrong, Katie? This is all my fault, isn't it? What the hell are you talking about? If I hadn't lost the deed in the first place... Oh, Katie. 
Higgins screwed over everyone, not just you. Yes, but... No buts. We're gonna get through this. We always do. <laughs> You're probably right. Uh, come on. Let's show these company dogs why you don't mess with an O'Hara. Give it up, O'Hara! This place belongs to us now! This is our land, you bootlicking piece of trash! Crow back to David and tell him that! Well, sounds like they're occupied. Guess it's time to earn my pay. What's keeping that big oaf? Don't tell me he's still hiding in the boathouse. Guess I'll head there and take a look. Company men all over the place. Good thing it's nighttime. All I gotta do is stay low and avoid the light. First, though, I gotta deal with these jokers. Thanks for getting that open. Damn door locked itself behind me. Are you telling me a big man like you can't handle a locked door? Not quiet like you. Now, what did I miss? All right, O'Hara! You asked for it! Okay, let's pull out the big balls. Ah, sorry, boss. We're still waiting for ammo. Jesus, do I have to do everything around here? You, come with me to get the damn ammo. The rest of you dumbasses keep them occupied until then. What's our plan? Well, my plan was taking out the long coats. They're the guys in charge. If they go down, we might stand a chance here. You've come to the right man. Big guys are my specialty. Of course they are. I got something else that might help. See that shimmer on the ground? That's tar oil. Burns like hell, even in rain. We grab a torch from the bonfire, wait for someone to step in, then <laughs> light it up. Mm. I guess it's worth keeping in mind. <laughs> All right, let's get going. And don't forget to keep count. I got my eyes on that whiskey. It's your funeral. What the hell happened here? What's going on down there? Uh, maybe they got enough O'Hara for the day. <laughs> Idiots. What the fuck's taking you so long? Get your ass over there! They're gonna use the Gatling gun. Go inside. Go! Let's go! Shoot up! Come on over here. What is this shit? Idiots. Here. Run for your lives! Oh, we finished already? I was just getting warmed up. Can't have enough, can you? <laughs> Come on now, McCoy. It's never enough. Well, sounds like you two had a good time. Mm. Sure you okay, Mr. O'Hara? <laughs> Don't worry, son. Looks worse than it is. You really oh. helped us with that barrel, huh? No problem, big guy. All in the day's work, as they say. Hey, Mr. O'Hara, so what about the whiskey? Right. Right. I say we all earned ourselves a glass of O'Hara's finest. Gentlemen, you're in for a treat. What the... Oh. Uh. Uncle? What's wrong? Quiet now. Damn fool. Uncle. Uncle. We were 
we showed him. Didn't we? I'm so sorry. Sorry? Don't be stupid. It's... It's not your fault. You got that, Katie. It's... It's not... I hate funerals. Yeah, who doesn't? This is bullshit. We were too slow. Uh, you did fine. I should have stayed with him. And then we'd bury two bodies today. Kate. How are you holding up? I still can't believe he's gone. I know. I just want to kill the bastards all over again. <laughs> Thank you, Hector. I hate to break it to you, but this is far from over. What do you mean? All the company has to do is send more men with the next train. He's right. We can't win this. Maybe it's time we cut our losses. No. Then what? We blow up the bridge. What bridge? The bridge at Eagle Falls. No bridge, no train, no more pain and misery for the people of Flagstone. I'm gonna go to Eagle Falls and blow their damn bridge to smithereens if it's the last thing I do. That's a tall order, miss. I'll do it alone if I have to. I've seen that place. It's massive. Well guarded. Gonna be a risky venture. Come on, Doc. You can't walk away from this now. Nah, of course not. You paid me. I'm yours. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Already my provisions? I'll saddle the horses. <laughs> we can take care of the bridge, miss. You just stay here, all right? No way, Mr. Cooper. This is my fight. I'm not gonna let you fight it for me. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> Now, I've checked this place out. We just stroll through the camp, and we're at the bridge. Now that's a bridge. It'll take a wagon full of dynamite to bring her down. Not necessarily. That there is a weak spot. Target that, and the rest will topple like a house of cards. Now that there's a plan, Dr. McCoy. But we're still gonna need dynamite. They're bound to have some stored around here somewhere. It makes sense there'd be dynamite in that hut in the quarry. There's also a weapons shed at the shooting range. If I was in charge around here, I'd keep that dynamite locked up tight. Yeah, don't you worry. Lox and me are old dance partners. So, we snatch the dynamite? and head back to the bridge. We set the dynamite and then find some cover. I'll save a bullet so I can light her up from afar. Then it's curtains, ladies and gentlemen. But then we'll have to work our way to the train and meet up with Hector. You take it for granted that he'll be at the rendezvous on time? <laughs> this is one fireworks show he wouldn't miss for the world. I could use a disguise too. But I might have spotted just the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Down she goes. Holy hell! You weren't kidding, Doc. What the fuck? Give me the bastard to date this! <laughs> they did it. 
Time for Hector to make an entrance. Everybody, on the train. Let's go. You sure about this? Absolutely. I'm not finished with David. I'd rather you stay with your ranch. <laughs> and I'd rather see what you got. If you insist. <laughs> Damn it. Not my lucky day, it seems. Another round? I think I'm good. I warned you. He's a damn cheater. <laughs> like I'd have to cheat against you. <laughs> oh, finally. Trust me, it's worth waiting for. <sighs> so, what about the train? <laughs> we'll ditch it. Don't need it to get to New Orleans. What's in New Orleans? Just an old bounty I want to catch up on. Frank, huh? I know that face. Works for the DeVitt Company now. Hey, let me see it. That's an old picture. How long has this hunt been going? Long enough. I'll finish it in New Orleans. Guess we all have our troubles. <laughs> Hector, it tastes amazing. Uh, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a bit salty. Well, there's definitely some salt missing. Oh, well, Kate, sounds like there's more left for the two of us. <laughs> We're inside, I don't want more. It's just not properly spiced. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, McCoy. <laughs> This is your last chance. I came alone. Bullshit. Elliot! You killed my friend. Be sure to say hello to him in hell. Johnny. Leave him alone! Well, well. Now, who the hell are you? The name's John Cooper, and I'm gonna kill you. Is that right? And how are you gonna do that? Just leave him out of this. <laughs> you know, in my time, the first thing a father taught his son was how to fire a colt. You bastard. One good shot, kid. That's all it takes. Come on. I ain't gone all day. I'm gonna count to three. Mm. 
Good morning, Hector. Uh, 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 good morning, Miss. Um, oh. That was one hell of a night. Uh, actually, I don't even remember how I got here. Uh, or how we met. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't remember anything, do you? Uh, I'm Rosie, the sheriff's wife. I really gotta find my friends now. <laughs> uh, Bianca? What's wrong, darling? Lost something in the heat of the night? Um, you mind if I just uh, borrow sure. this? Sure, <laughs> but only if you promise to return it. Uh, okay, Hector. You can do this. Listen, I'm sorry, but, you know, I uh, really have to... Uh, bye, Hector. Bye. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Let's find the rest of the pack. And Bianca. Oh, what the hell happened? Where's Doc? All I remember is drinking in the saloon. That horse piss couldn't have gotten us drunk. Well, whatever happened here, we made a fine impression on the locals. Doesn't it feel like we're overlooking something really important? Oh, the boat. He said it's departing come morning. Did he now? The nice man is still waiting for us. All the same. Let's hurry. This is no place to be left behind. I could use a disguise, too, while we're at it. Let's find a dog and get the hell out of here. All right, all right. Uh, we find Doc, board the boat, and forget this ever happened. All aboard! Hey, there! Look what I found in the Get weeds! Get your fucking hands off me! You gonna regret this? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, you be careful, Daryl. She might be one of them swamp witches. Yeah, and I'm the fucking president. Now, get back to your post. Swamp witches. All right. How about it? You gonna put a spell on me? I didn't think so. Shit. I must be getting old. And the damn cat left me hanging too. Hmm. Let's see. If it's men are everywhere, you take things slow. Can't hurt to get a lay of the land. That ledge up there looks like a good vantage point. First, I gotta get out of this cage. Let's see who's gonna help me with that. Oh, don't worry. So, let's see what's happening over there. Looks like they got themselves a little steamboat. And that cowboy there is holding his own for now. He's gonna run out of luck eventually. Now, was he alone, nor did he have a crew? I'm looking for someone at that house. I bet someone's hiding out there. Now, that big guy looks freshly caught. <laughs> Wasn't easy, I bet. He has eyes on him from all angles. Got a pretty lady, too. Odd collection of characters from that boat. Uh, the company's gonna sell off their asses if we don't do something. Well, it doesn't really matter who we help first, but starting with that cowboy wouldn't hurt. Once we save everyone, <laughs> we'll make our exit.
Now you best pull your weight if you want to have stew tonight. That sounds more like it. Thank you so much, Miss Morrow. We owe you a great debt. Yeah, that's one point of view. You got a beef with Miss Isabel? Yeah, I'm not so keen on owing favors. <laughs> Don't worry, sunshine. It's on the house. So what's your plan right now? New Orleans. Well, guess we're headed the same way then. Then why don't you join us? I would love the company. Sure, why not? How about it, Sunshine? Do you mind my can't you just keep your distance? <laughs> See what you're keeping here. Marshal Wayne. I see you're trespassing on private property. Last I recall, you need a warrant for that. I don't need a warrant for crooks like you, Frank. <clears throat> Just come with us quietly. I'd prefer we settle this like in the good old days. <laughs> Too bad this is not how it's done anymore. I think that's the leash around your neck doing the talking. <clears throat> is that right? Hey, David wants the marshal alive, remember? <clears throat> Shut up. Come on, Frank. Think about the money. That's all that matters, is it? Frank. <sighs> Bring the marshal to the others. Move it. <clears throat> so much for the good old days. Good old days are long gone, Marshal. You really believe that, huh? <laughs> So you've been following this guy? Yeah, last we heard, he was headed for New Orleans. I've seen him. He works for the DeVitt Company. Don't know where he is, though. Sorry. Yeah. We'll ask around. What's your plan now? I was supposed to meet up with Wayne, but I can't find him anywhere. You think something happened to him? Could be. Think I better look for him. And count us in. We still owe you for your help back there. You don't know me anything. Hey, fellas. You got everything you need? The Yonkers oiled up and ready for action. <laughs> well, let's go and find Frank. What, what about Isabel and her friend? All right. Listen, why don't we split up? I'm pretty sure you can handle this on your own. <laughs> we'll meet here later, all right? Sure. All right. Let's go, Hector. See you later, ladies. <sighs> well. So what's going on here? We're looking for Isabel's friend. Wanna join? I won't hold it against you if you decline. Well, like I said, I don't enjoy owing favors. To be clear, we find your Wayne that makes us even. Try it lighten up, sunshine. You in New Orleans. <sighs> Whatever. So, any bright ideas on how we find your Wayne? My gut tells me it's the DeVitt Company. Maybe they tried to get rid of him. Makes sense. But how do we find out what happened? Hmm. Let me think.
Wayne told me he was looking into three men connected to DeVitt. Arthur McGain, district judge. Spends his nights at the Café Chez Manu. Raymond Irving took over the Red Lantern after the previous owner disappeared. And Ted O'Neill used to be a smuggler. Now somehow got a job as foreman at Pier 9. I bet one of these fellas is involved. Probably carries a letter of instructions with him. A letter, huh? So how do we know who's the culprit? Good question. We should take a stroll through the quarter. Lots of DeVitt men there. If we keep our ears open, we might catch a few clues. This is exciting. We should get a disguise, too. Then we'll find our culprit in no time. Or we just pick through our targets until we get the one who has the letter. Come on now, McCoy. I think a little investigation could be fun. I wasn't put on this earth to have fun. Hmm. We'll see. Now let's get a move on. Wayne's waiting. What's in the quarter? All right, what do we have? Looks like the bastards kidnapped Wayne. And took him somewhere private. There's an address here. Some storage yard. Pretty close by, actually. Just down the road, past these roadblocks. So, we have to get through more DeVitt Company men. All right. So that's the place. You think we'll find him there? We have to. That shed there looks like an office. I got a feeling they're keeping him there. I'll pick the lock for you. After that, we're even. Let's get on with freeing your Wayne, provided he's still alive. He better be. If they laid a finger on him, by God, they'll be held to pay. Well, looks like your friend ain't here. Shit. Where the hell are you, Wayne? Maybe we'll find another clue here. Hmm. Think I've found something. Another letter. Fine. Let's head back. So what do we have? Mm, something about a shipment. Looks like they brought Wayne out of the city to the Queen's Nest. What's that? Old place in the bayou. Oh, this can't be good. So we're done here? McCoy. Nah, he's right. I got what I need. Time we head back. Like I said, we're even. Come on, Sunshine. Technically, we still haven't found Wayne yet. My slate is clean. You want money, right? Wayne can pay you in spades. How much are we talking hmm. about? Well, how much does a seasoned gun for hire go these days? And how do I know all this ain't just talk? Hmm. You know a bluff when you see one, right, Sunshine? <laughs> Aww. Ma, look at you two. <laughs> Just a business agreement. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find Wayne soon. <sighs> yeah. Thanks again. Hello, ladies. Howdy. So, any news about Frank? Uh, we just kicked up some dust. And? Looks like something big is going down here soon. And Frank's gonna be in the middle of it. All we gotta do is wait for him to show up. And you. Any luck finding your Wayne? They brought him to a secret place in the bayou. I sure could use some help getting him out of there. Unless you wanna leave all the fun to me and Sunshine. Swamps, huh? How come you're on board, Doc? 
I was promised proper compensation. What do you say, amigo? All right. But one of us should stay behind and try uh, to find out more. Oh. You can leave that to me. Great. Let's get going. It's almost over. Let's hope so. Kate. Huh? Just one thing. You see Frank. You stay with the hell away from him. Yeah. Sure. We're almost there. And there's the welcoming committee. Hey. It's no fun if they don't put a few fellas in your way. We won't get through there without the others. About time. This swamp is foul. Okay, let's make our way through and meet the others inside. I bet Wayne's in one of those cages. We'll open them all until we find him. We're gonna need McCoy to pick the locks. And after we free your Wayne? We gonna burn down that steamboat. Put him out of business. First, we smash that oil barrel on the roof. Sounds like a job for the axe. Right. And when the oil spills out, we grab a little torch. We light it up, and then we run. <laughs> I like it. But how do we get away? <laughs> we'll snatch one of them boats down on that pier and head back to the city. All right. We go in, get Wayne, set fire to the whole mess, and get the hell out of here. It's on the top. Look at it go. There's a sad to warm an old heart. Looks like we all made it. Ah, <sighs> look at that thing burn. It was about time someone took this place down. Those bastards can burn in hell. Let's head back to the city. I've had enough swamp for one day. You're right. Back to New Orleans. Things have gone from bad to worse here. <laughs> well, that's no surprise after our little campfire in the bayou. Now Frank knows we're coming. Mm. Son, I really don't think it's a good idea to go after him now. With all due respect, Marshal, that's none of your business. Mm. Why not wait until things calm down? Yeah, set up a proper plan. That's fine. Hector and I can handle this. Mm. Hey there, fellas. Did our sunshine find you all right? Don't tell me you had any doubts. You must be Wayne. Kate O'Hara. Marshal Wayne at your service. <laughs> marshal? How come you never told us, Isabel? Well, he wasn't a marshal the first time we met. Anyways, I'd say we better get things going now. I owe all of you a great deal, gentlemen. I really hope I'll be able to repay the favor someday. Oh, you can repay me right now, Marshal. Beg your pardon? Uh, well, I think I better clear this up. Good luck, Cooper. What are you doing? You think I'm gonna let you go alone? Look, I think you should go with them. You know? I'd rather come with you, if that's all right. Suit yourself. All right. So, where's Frank? Down at the harbor, Pier 9. Whatever's going on there, he's handling it. Then that's where we gotta be. Let's meet up at the gate. Lots of patrols out on the streets. There sure are. But, uh, I lost my disguise. What happened? Let's just say I still got a few things to learn about poker. Anyway, I think I can find a new one at the Red Lantern. All right. 
Now let's get moving before Frank skedaddles again. <laughs> hey, yeah, what did I miss? Just the plan. I'll fill you in on the way. Right. Ready for action. Here we are. Here not. <laughs> Open sesame. So, what's the plan now? I'm going in alone. Like hell you are, Cooper. You know how it's gotta be. Not this time, Cooper. What's going on here? Out of my way, Hector. Stop it, both of you! You listen to me, amigo. If you go in there alone, you're just gonna end up like your partner. Oh, Hector! What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Cooper? Find a place to hide. He's right. Damn you. Damn you. <laughs> Hello, Frank. You've grown, kid. A bit skinnier than your father, but overall not bad. <clears throat> How long's it been? Ten years? Fifteen? You're just getting old. Maybe. Wonder what he would say. You living on dirt and blood, making a name for yourself. Just like us back in the day. Are you done? Because I ain't got all day. <laughs> it's all right, kid. Let's see how far you've come. gonna happen. enough Frank I see you're indulging yourself in old habits kind of surprised to see you here David well I have to oversee my investments and this man caused me quite the trouble lately so you must be the rich asshole <sighs> adorable and what about the others four captured Marshall got away got away we'll get him don't worry, sir. Fine. Off you go, then. I really don't envy you having to mingle with trash like this. Oh, it ain't so bad, but I doubt you'd understand. <laughs> well, I don't have to. That's what I have you for, after all. All right. So what's going to happen to the kid now? We can't let good material go to waste. He's gonna work himself to death in the mines. Together with his friends. You piece of... <sighs> Too bad, kid. Looks like you two ain't going home today. <laughs> He's just a kid, Frank. He 
you want to tell me what to do? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> Throw them down the canyon when you're done. Your name, amigo. Sean. I'm Hector. Still paying you? Uh, it just stings a little as all. But if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill someone. Keep it together. We'll wait until the next break. Gotta say, this plan of yours is pretty wild. Didn't hear any better suggestions from you. <clears throat> what about the dynamite? I improvised. What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain in a second. <clears throat> Just to be safe. Can you go over the plan one more time? Ah, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Fine. First, we fetch our belongings. Next, I'll crack the lock on that gate so we can get out. Once we're out, we'll get the dynamite. Ah, uh, right. It's in that minecart. And it's not really dynamite. What are you talking about? I couldn't get dynamite, so I filled a minecart with gunpowder. You're telling me we have to drag a minecart all the way to the gate? Hey, it's easy. We just light it up and boom! <laughs> This is why I don't work with amateurs. Let's not forget about Kate and Cooper. Right. They put them together in those cages. You sure you want to help out that jackass? I'm not gonna leave Cooper behind. Mm, I don't care either way. All right, ladies, break time. Best make sure you freshen up for the next shift. Easy, friend. Which way to the next train station? Oh, down the road, a couple miles. Thank you. <laughs> you never stand still, do you, yeah. sunshine? Well, he's in a bad mood. Can't really blame him. We got out alive, didn't we? Yeah. Great. Uh, all right, let me go. Let's take a break. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we all could use a little break right now. Uh. 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 F. 
figured as much. <laughs> what are you up to? No offense, but I think I'm gonna cut my losses. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> After all the shit we've been through? That's right. <laughs> and whose fault is that, huh? Well, well. And here I thought you had a shred of decency in you, McCoy. I thought you'd know better by now. <laughs> the whole place is crawling with the Vit men. They must have signaled ahead. Uh, so, what now? I'm gonna have a look at the station. Wait, you can't go down there alone. Oh, that's grand advice coming from you. Ah, shit. <clears throat> I'll help her. You stay put. Thanks, partner. <sighs> Let me have a look at that leg. Hector's going pretty easy on you. Nah, we're old friends. We had friendship if you ask me. Ah. Mm. He knows how it is. No use dragging anyone else into my problems. Especially not her. Hmm. Uh. Hey, you know, no matter how many times I've heard that kind of bullshit, it never turned out right. Ah. Oh, you sure this is helping? Uh, just setting the bone. Okay, but what now? Just lay uh, down for a while. Uh. Hey, Kate, come on. It's rolled, Hector. So, how's it look? Not so good. Watch. Here comes the train. Hey, why isn't it stopping? We must have orders not to. If we want to ride, we'll have to figure something out. All right. Uh, any bright ideas? Well, we could drive cattle onto the tracks. That would stop the train. How do we do that? We could scare them, like by setting fire to that straw roof. Uh, sure. What about that wagon? I could push it onto the tracks. It looks pretty heavy to me. Come on, I can do it, I think. Well, if those are our options, I'd feel much more comfortable in disguise. Anyway, let's get going. I don't want to spend a second more in this damn hole. <laughs> Full of DeVitt men. That wagon seems to be the only safe option. Let's meet up with the others, then hide inside that wagon. <clears throat> Sleepy. Breathing? <laughs> yeah, sure are. All right, let's go meet the others. So, uh, where do we go from here? I'd say we pay our friend the marshal a visit. All 
world's clear. Next stop, civilization. Ah, Frank, there you are. Did you already brief the men for the evening? I expect everyone to be on their best behavior when the guests arrive. <sighs> Do me the courtesy and look at me when I speak to you. Yeah, I've just been thinking. Kinda tired of you, Vincent. Please, Frank. I really think you're too old for this kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe you're right. Too old to mingle with trash like you. Frank? Don't just stand around, you buffoon! Come on, Frank. You think you got what it takes, Bill? Hmm? Didn't think so. Enjoy your party, Vincent. Enjoy it like there's no tomorrow. What now, sir? Nothing. We proceed as planned. I won't accept any further interruptions. you, Miss O'Hara? I don't think anybody's watching us here. <laughs> yeah, just trying to get in the mood. Huh. How are you? I say you two make a fine couple. Maybe it's a bit much? It'll be fine. But we should get rid of those irons. They don't fit your new look, Mr. Cooper. Well, I'm afraid you got a point there, Marshal. <sighs> Now that's a side I could get used to. <laughs> All right, let's go through the plan. DeVitt's party's underway. Naturally, he's made himself the center of attention. You'll need to get in there, knock the bastard out, and, well, extract him from the premises. Remember, I want him alive, so don't be too rough on him. I also don't want any of the guests to be harmed. You got it? Drag him to the wagon and saddle up and get the hell out of there. David has two major events planned for this evening. At the front gardens, there's a firework show under preparation. You don't need to light up both stashes. Just pick one and light the fuse. And in the backyard, it's going to show off some new invention to the guests. You're going to need a strong guy like Hector to start the generator before you flip the switch on the main thing. If you manage all of that, it should be enough to draw the guests away from DeVitt. Your friend should have arrived down at the shore by now. They'll make their own way in. That's about it. Show your invitations at the front gate and enjoy the party. I'm going to head out in a bit. See you back at the meeting place. And good luck. Should we head in, Miss O'Hara? Someone's taking his role quite seriously, Mr. Cooper. Hey, I'm just following the plan. All right. Let's do this. All right, everybody. Let's get out of here. No, he's taking his sweet time. And Queen's not the youngest horse in the shed. Guess we'll have to wait then. Hey, get in here. Hey, hey. I suggest you lay still, Mr. DeVitt, or Hector here is going to put you to sleep. Don't bother. 
He's just gonna try to bribe us. Well, let's hear it. I need to relieve myself. <laughs> really? Yes, really, you imbecile. All right. Take him out the back. Let's go. We really did it. We caught the bastard. Yeah, your uncle would be proud. That's sweet of you. <clears throat> you know, back there in New Orleans... It's fine. You did what you had to. Yeah, right. I was a goddamn idiot. True. And what are you now, John Cooper? Oh, come on! Shut up! Everybody get over here or I'll blow them to smithereens. You think I was never put in a corner before? Never had to get my hands dirty to climb the ranks? I've had my hands so deep in shit you can't even imagine. Sorry. I fucked up. Jason, shut up! I'll show you what happens when you stand against- <laughs> You. I had a feeling you'd be lost without me. As usual, I was right. You know what? I'm gonna give you that one, sunshine. To be honest, I was expecting to find him in better condition. Ah, uh, don't worry. McCoy says he'll live. I'll take his word for it. Now I believe these are yours. Colt Navy 51. Seen better days if you ask me. Nah, uh, I'm attached to it. <laughs> now if you excuse me, I have a package to deliver. And you also got something to take care of, am I right? Right. Good luck, son. Yep. <laughs> Ready when you are, amigo. So how do we find Frank? <laughs> Just follow me. Amigo, you're starting to act like some big honcho. It's not my fault if you're taking ages to get up here. Easy, boys. We're all here for the same reason. <sighs> all right. There's a chapel. That place hasn't changed much. And you're sure Frank's in there? Oh, dead sure. Remember, Cooper, nobody goes in alone. We all meet at the gate. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll follow the plan. Speaking of which... There's Doc and Isabel. Good. We'll meet them on the way. Right. And one more thing. That woman down there, in the canyon? I bet I could get around this place if I had her outfit. Well, then let's make sure we pick it up. Anything else? We good? Ready when you are, amigo. All right. Then let's send Frank to hell. So this is it. Just stick to the plan. <laughs> like you came up with it. We got your back, amigo. All right, then. John? Hmm? Give him hell.
Frank! You kept me waiting, kid. I hope you don't mind my company here. Now, ain't that a little unfair? Uh, come on, kid. We both know what's going on here. That's a game two can play. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm. Easy, fellas. <laughs> One good shot. That's all it takes. Am I right? Mm. Just like in the good old days, hey, kid? <laughs> all right. Let's do this. One good shot. 